guys, it's Kylie, and in today's Vlogmas video, I'm gonna share with you my entire Disney pin collection. So today I'm gonna go through my entire Disney pin collection. It's a lot. If I went into detail on every single pin, we'd be here for hours. Um, I have tons of boards, bags, and then other loose pins that I'm gonna share with you. Um, I've been collecting pins for a while now. My collection's definitely grown a bunch. I will say this year it didn't grow a ton just because Trading in the parks hasn't been what it is, and I didn't focus as much on pins this year. When I went on vacation, I focused more on the vacations. Um, so as trading picks back up as hopefully in the next year or so, I definitely know it's gonna grow a bunch more. Uh, so I'm gonna go through all the different pins that I have in my collection. I'm not gonna go through my traders as we'd be here all day if I did that. But if you guys are interested in checking out more videos just like this and more Vlogmas videos, definitely hit the subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload as I'm posting every single day leading up till Christmas. I will say if you want more details on a lot of these pins, um, I have been doing a monthly collab put on by Valerie from Singer Family Adventures that's celebrating collections, pins, and people. And each month we show off a different piece of our pin collection. In those videos I go into a lot more detail about every single pin. So if you're interested in more detail about a lot of the collections, definitely check out those videos where I'll go more into depth, especially on a couple of my main collections. And that is probably gonna continue into 2022 if you're interested in checking those out. But now let's dive into my pin collection. So this is all my pin boards. We're gonna start with those and then we're gonna go into these bags and miscellaneous pins that I have. We are gonna start off with my Chip and Dale collection. This one's actually two full boards and a little mini piece as well. Um, I'm gonna try to get as close as I can uh, with the camera to some of these, but it might be hard to get up close just because of where the boards are. Uh, the first one we have here is some Chippendale ones. Um, this is some Goofy. We got a 2019. Uh, it's a mix of Hidden Mickey Limited Edition. So we got Thanksgiving, some D23. This is one of my favorites, this cruise line one. It opens up and has Goofy on the inside. Um, some Christmas themed ones. Some Disneyland Paris. And if there's any that you see that you want more details on, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to give more information on some of them. We got Festival of the Holidays, Groundhog Day, Disneyland 50th, some winter ones, a piece of Disney history. This is Spectro Magic. Um, some date ones. We got a cruise line. Some more holiday themed ones. Um, some Happy Halloween, Happy Thanksgiving, a lot of Christmas themed ones. We got Stories Teller Cafe and Wilderness Lodge. And moving down here, we have some more date ones. I like this one, it has like their Disney World cast member badge. It's like their wallet, um, name tag. These are a few more Chippendale, Festival of the Holidays. Um, from a couple different years and a happy holidays and then a Halloween one and then this is my other Chippendale board starting at the bottom we have some holiday ones these are some of my earlier pins in my collection uh, this is kind of like my first Chippendale board we have a build uh, your own pin opening day um, of Animal Kingdom another cruise line ones um, Hollywood uh, studio store Hollywood happy Hanukkah some Easter a lot of hidden Mickeys of Chippendale. We have some winter themed hidden Mickeys and then some more just like Chippendale Duo ones, Main Street Popcorn from Hong Kong Disneyland. My first Disney Cruise, another one of my favorites. These Easter eggs are pretty cool. Um, some smaller, just open edition Chippendales and some mystery set ones. And then these are some more Chippendale booster sets, mystery sets. Um, just some other cute ones and this is one of like the earlier pins in my collection. It's Chippendale as flip-flops So this one is my Winnie the Pooh collection um, So starting off we got some Tigger. We got Rabbit. We got another Tigger pin um, We got some Tsum Tsums Working our way down. We do have a puffy vinyl of Piglet. This is a donut shop one that opens up This one I believe is either Studio Store Hollywood or WDI at Winnie the Pooh um, this one's a food and wine festival. These ones are all Disneyland Paris. Um, cast member Animal Kingdom Safari. Happy Thanksgiving. A holiday stocking. Another of the popcorn. Uh, an Eeyore Thanks for Noticing Me. This was one of the monthly Disney store releases a couple years ago with the quote. Um, we have this one was another monthly release. This one was like the book. 
uh, the Winnie the Pooh book. This is Baby Pooh. Um, this Tigger has like some movable elements to him. And then a Happy New Year um, 2002. This one, we have some more mystery pins. This one was from the 20 year pin event. We have a Winnie the Pooh 2001 holiday pin, TTFN. Um, this one is actually Happy New Year's 2020 from Disneyland Paris that moves around. Um, so these are actually some of my favorites. These are sports ones, but they fit into this collection before my sports collection and they are fishing, basketball, and golf with Goofy. Um, some Easter eggs, some more holiday ones in a 2020. My next collection is my Frozen collection. This one's actually new to my collection. I just traded for this one with Seth, um, Seth Lavender here on YouTube. It is a Fanny Pax Fen, but we have some different Anna and Elsa and Frozen ones. This one's Winter 2020. Uh, we got a Sven and Olaf from Disneyland Paris. This j mini jumbo is also from Disneyland Paris from Frozen 2. Um, and then this one, this one's a pretty cool one with Odd on the inside. I believe this is a Studio Store Hollywood one. Uh, Frozen 5K, that's one of the races I did at Disney. Um, contemporary Gingerbread. We also have um, some Olaf, Holiday Olaf. Um, Olaf with some books. We have a PTD. Um, Sven's Frozen for Treats was from the Fairy Tales pin event. Um, we have this Olaf is um, one of the Latte series from a couple years ago. This is Skate is one of my favorite ones. It's a Winter Season Greetings 2016 um, Ice Skate, just one of my favorite pins in my collection. I love the little bell elements. Some more Olaf and Frozen ones. This one is Flower and Garden Festival. It has them as topiaries, another of the Frozen 5K from that same year. Happy Holidays. I really do love that set where they're building the snowmen. And then this is some mystery sets. This mystery set um, kind of built out little cross stitches of all the different characters. And there's actually one over here too. Uh, but I really love the way this set comes out when you put it all together. This is my Monsters Inc. collection. I'm going to go through this one pretty quickly just because this was November Celebrating Collections uh, video. So I've already kind of gone through some of these in detail. Uh, but I will point out some of my favorites. Um, we do have the Latte of Mike and Sully. Um, this is an Earth Day. Um, we have this stocking one. I really love that set. Oh, we got an art pin, Santa Sully, uh, tell a joke, National Tell a Joke Day. Another one of those building a snowman pins. Um, we got, this one's from kind of the opening movie. So it's 2001 when the movie came out. Uh, we got a disguise boo pin, a monstropolis 2319. The, this is definitely one of my favorites, this door pin that opens up and has uh, Boo and Sully in it. This is from the Pixar 30th event. And then this is a newer one to celebrate the anniversary of Monsters Inc. The 20 years. And it's got Boo, Mike, and Sully right there. And then Mike and Sully on the inside with Boo on the outside. We got some aliens. This one's a fun Pixar mashup pin with Sully and Boo holding some other Pixar characters. Uh, these ones I had been searching for for a while. They're puffy vinylations of Sully and Boo. Very happy when I added those to my collections. A Sully backpack. And that's kind of my whole Monsters Inc. collection, but I do have that in more detail in that playlist with the Celebrating Collections pins and people. I'm not going to move up here. This is going to get hard angle-wise just because of the way the camera has to fit. Um, these are way up in, by the ceiling, uh, but this is my sports collection. So we have um, some Goofy playing baseball, Mickey baseball. Um, I love this collection. This collection I definitely would love to grow more, but I, it's hard to find a ton of sports pins. We got Stitch playing basketball. We got a Celtics pin. I just added that San Diego... Uh, uh, Padres pin to my collection. Um, we have a couple of the trading card ones with, we got fishing, billiards, cheer, and discus, some wide world of sports pins, football, basketball, baseball. Uh, this one and this one are two early pins in my collection, the little Mickey heads with the different sports. Um, but that's my sports collection. I do also have this jumbo pin uh, from Finding Nemo with the whole school on Mr. Ray's back. Uh, this one is my 2000s pin collection. So we got Wizards of Waverly Place, Handy Manny, Lil Einsteins, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Uh, Doug Live is actually from the parks, but I added up here. Some Phineas and Fur pins, Where's My Water, some Hannah Montana, 
some camp rock, and then finally some high school musical. Definitely some awesome ones. I would love to grow this as well. Um, these are a lot of the shows I grew up on, so I definitely love having these as pins. Uh, they just recently came out with some camp rock and some high school musical pins that I'll definitely be picking up on my next trip. Um, just some open edition pins, but excited to add those to this collection. Way up on the top there, I can't even fit my camera up there. You can see how tight they are to the ceiling, is the full set of the I Collect. So we have Figment, Villain, Stitch, Princess, Food, Attractions, Nightmare Before Christmas, Winnie the Pooh, Pixar, Pets, Muppets, and Holiday. We also have the full set of the Kingdom consoles. We have Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Lion King, Jungle Book, Chippendale, Darkwing, Bonkers, Beauty and the Beast, Tailspin, Goof Troop, DuckTales, and Fantasia. And then over here is actually all of the Wishable pins I own. I don't have the full set of both. I would love to trade for the ones that I'm missing. So if you have one of the ones I'm missing, I would love to try to trade for that. But that's all the Wishable pins to so go with my Wishable collection. I like to have the Wishable pins as well. So for this one, I have um, just some random limited edition ones. So I have some Food and Wine, Earth Day, some DVC, Halloween parties I've gone to, some more Food and Wines. This is one of the, like, the only puzzle set I have. It is the Lady and the Tramp puzzle set. I'm just missing the Lady chaser another one of those uh holiday ones these are some christmas events some thanksgiving winter wishes that is the state pin for massachusetts uh one of my favorite ones is the al capitan g-force pin we got winter and fall 2015 um this one's from the studio store hollywood it opens up and has fozzy's little passport uh farewell illuminations people mover park cruiser um the spring break pin from 2020 uh, some more flower and garden, some fairy tales pins. Uh, this one's a photo strip, some Festival of the Arts. And then these are just some mystery sets that I have completed. So Kingdom Q, um, we have the purses, the popsicles, and then I also have the country set from one of the flower uh, food and wine festivals. And then I have a few of the like park badges as well. So we're now gonna move on to some of uh, my collections that are in bags. So this is just kind of my random bag. Um, it has pans from the 20th event. So I want to keep these with their cards so I kept them in this bag. Um, a few of the Studio Store Hollywood ones that I haven't put on my boards yet that have the signatures. These are the signature ones, so I figure out Olaf and Eeyore. I do have a few of these for trade or for sale if you're interested in any of those. Um, this is a 20-year pin trading event pin. I also randomly in here have a Lady and the Tramp and then a Disney Vacation Club member pin. Um, so on this one, I have a Massachusetts State pin, some Figaro, Oliver, um, some Marvel pins. This is an Alani pin, Thanksgiving. And here are some 2019 pins. It's the year I graduated, Grant Californian um, pin. This one is some DVC pins. This was the Hugs collection. Um, this is some random rides and stuff that I really liked. I thought this one was just a very pretty, I think this is a WDI pin, just a very pretty pin. This one's cool because it opens up and has Goofy on the inside. Uh, Find Your Happily Ever After, my favorite fireworks show at Disney. Uh, Test Track, my favorite ride, a couple of those. Buzz Lightyear Spacer Spin, Puffy Vinyl. Um, and then these are some of the earlier pins in my collection, especially like the, this pair of flip-flops. Um, Squirt was one of like the earlier pins, this Goofy. Then we also have um, some of the like quotes so we have castable pride and salute in here and then we also have some more random ones we got a figaro the cinderella anniversary a happy easter disneyland the disney pin trading logo um and just some more random pins this is kind of like my random binder this next binder is my star wars binder and i did go into detail on a lot of these in one of the celebration collections months so i'm going to kind of go through it quickly uh but we have some star wars day at sea pins we also have um, some holiday themed Star Wars ones, as well as some Black Spire Outpost Galaxy Edge ones, Chewbacca, um, some more holiday ones. We got Halloween and Christmas. May the fourth be with you. This is some of my mystery sets. So we have um, some snowflakes, some Easter eggs. These are all the portraits. Um, these are some cuties. This was a droid set. And then this is my favorite mystery set of the Star Wars ones. It builds a cruise boat for Star Wars Day at Sea. And then these ones are some more uh, sets. These ones were like a ornament set. These ones were some more leading up to Galaxy's Edge opening. Uh, Star Tours. 
Uh, this was Star Wars Weekend. This one I got on a cruise as like a freebie from DVC. And then some more Star Wars ones, Rogue One. I really like these two. This one with the, like, the lightsabers and the colors on this. And this one, it's hard to tell with the black background, but it's actually got... This is the Pride pin from this year, and it's got like the different Star Wars logos in rainbow colors. Now, this is my Parks Collection one. Um, another one that I showed off this year in the Celebrating Collections. Um, so this starts with Cruise Line. Um, so we have all different cruise line ones. This is my deck department pin. You have to get it from somebody in the deck department. So I got that on one of my cruises. Super fun gift. Um, some DVC ones. These are some of the different cruise boat vinyl mations. Um, and I do have one, I think representing every cruise, especially every cruise I bet on. I bet on the dream, the magic, and the fantasy. Um, but I think I do have some to represent the wonder. Some happy holiday ones, some Bermuda cruises. Uh, this is actually a Grand Floridian one mixed in there. This is some of the hotels I've stayed at. So when I stayed at some of the different hotels, I got a pin. Um, so these are the typical hotels we stay at Grand Floridian Beach Club and Boardwalk. So I have a couple of different ones of those um, are from our trip from Alani a few years ago. Adventures by Disney, Happy Holidays, another Boardwalk one. These are some of the times we stayed at Boardwalk or Beach Club for the holidays. Um, we got some of the different holiday pins to represent those. Again, Boardwalk and Grand Floridian for the holidays. Grand Floridian 30th anniversary. This is from two years ago when we stayed at the Newport Bay Club. This is at Disneyland Paris. Um, this is actually some of the other places we've stayed. We stayed at Bay Lake Tower. Uh, last time we didn't stay at Katani, we actually stayed at Jumbo House, but they didn't have a Jumbo House pin, and I already had these, so I added this Animal Kingdom Lodge pin to my collection, because they didn't have a specific one, but I already owned some. So I added that in here. Um, and we go on to more some park rides, so Toy Story Mania. Um, these ones are a cool set from the 20th event, so Festival of the Lion King, Splash Mountain, Spaceship Earth, um, just some of the animatronics you don't see a ton of pins for. Um, this was Sources of the Magic Kingdom when they had that. Um, Disneyland 2014, that's the year we went to Disneyland last. Um, some test track ones. Uh, definitely, again, my favorite ride. Um, and then some more festivals. We have uh, some Flower and Garden. Um, this one's a Splash Mountain pin. Some more Disneyland Paris. Some hotels we haven't stayed at, but still some awesome hotels. Disneyland Paris Park. This is the Disneyland Park Park Cruiser for Space Rangers Spin. Uh, another Animal Kingdom Lodge pin. Some Marvel Day at Sea and some Happy New Year Disney Cruise Line. And then it's actually the pin I got when we stayed at the Polynesian Bungalows. So these are all my pins from the Heroes vs. Villains event that I'm keeping. I did pull out some of the ones I'm trading from like the mystery sets and stuff. Um, but I also have all the pins that I got that I'm keeping. So we have like some Star Wars pins, some Monsters Inc. pins. Um, a lot of different Star Wars pins. I do have videos going through me opening these mystery pins as well as showing off this haul that are in that Vlogmas playlist if you're interested in checking that out. Um, but I'm very excited. I was actually able to trade for the last two I wanted. So I was able to trade for Zerg and I was able to trade for Darth Vader to complete the mystery set to the degree I wanted to. Um, and now I just have the other ones for trade. I'm definitely keeping all of these ones and probably keeping these ones for my collection as well. And then super excited to add all these awesome pins to my collection um, from the different ones that I purchased. I just haven't gotten around to adding those to my boards. This next thing is actually from the 20th pin trading event and it's like the time capsule. And I do have some pins in here. Um, so these are some of the different events um, that I went to or at least got the pins for. Um, also in here, I'm just going to kind of pour it out. We have um, another one of the, this was from the Animation Celebration. This is a pin trading magnet. Uh, we have, this one's from Fairy Tales. These were some different postcards and stuff for both that event and the next year event, which is pretty cool because then I got to go to that online. Uh, one of my favorite pins, I just haven't had a place to find to put it, is this Wanna Trade pin. I also have um, this one. This is like a through the years how pin trading, uh, pins are made pin. And then the other thing I have, I actually have four sets of these in here are our Adventures by Disney pins. So if you go on an Adventures by Disney trip, they actually give you a pin every single day. And if you bet on multiple, they give you like an extra bonus pin. Um, plus that holiday pin that I showed you before, that is from this trip. So on um, the rest of my family's lanyard, it still has the holiday pin on. I just pulled it off and put it in a different spot. Um, but it has like the welcome and then we, we were, it's like the title for each day. So one was all days lead to Rome. Um, we have this one's Etruscan roots, Tuscany holiday. Um, we have romance and renaissance. 
uh, Carnival, Venetian Fantasy, and then Arrivederci, which is goodbye. So those are all of our different ones from our trip to Italy. I do have all four of our lanyards. Um, there are Adventures by Disney lanyards with those on there. So those are pretty cool keepsake. And then the final bin I have right here are some of my newer pins I just haven't put on my board. So I have my pin from the Virtual Run series. Um, this was one of the Where Fantasy Grows pins. Uh, this was actually from the time capsule. This was for the Heroes vs. Villains pin event that you got with the time capsule. That was the goodbye gift for the um, 20th event. And this was also one of the gifts from the 20th event. A couple of the key pins. We have the Mandalorian one. We have the Toy Story. We have the Fantasia. I also have the Teacher's Day 2021 pin. This was one of the newer releases the Walt Disney for Walt Disney World's 50th. I just loved how simple this was. Uh, an animation pin from the 20th event and then a few like these are like pins with the back like that for the for my um sports collection that were skiing and then this one was a pin with that same back for winnie the pooh and then in this bag is actually pins from my last trip at disney i never actually did a haul for that trip but i did get some pins and um, this is from my august trip um i got this 50th pin just to represent the 50th i also got the castle like postage pin these were all like leading up to the 50th all of this merch um, and then i also got the contemporary one with the monorail i did get one of the uh, food and wine festival pins this is the cork board like uh cutting board one that flips around and then i did open up on a video the figment mystery ones i still never traded any of these for the ones i was missing but i believe yeah i got the one i really wanted which was this one which is the hummus fries from morocco um, but these were all the different figment mystery pins from that and that kind of completes the rest of my pin collection So if you guys enjoyed this pin collection, I know it's a lot of pins um, I tried to go through it as quick as I could and get close-ups as many pins as I could Again, if you have any questions on any of the pins where I got them edition size what they are If you're trying to look them up or anything Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have pins for some of my main collections Especially like my sports collection my monsters Inc. collection Especially those two that I don't have in my collection that you might be interested in trading definitely message me on my instagram i got tons of pins that i'd be open to trading so definitely let me know none of the ones that i showed you i'm opening and trading but i have binders of actually trader pins as well so if you have pins that you think i might want for my collection definitely reach out to me i'd be happy to try to set up some sort of trade but besides that i hope you guys enjoy if you want to check out more vlogmas videos on my channel check out the playlist linked at the end and i will see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.